At sundown on Sunday, hundreds of migrants crossed the Rio Grande into El Paso, a caravan of migrants primarily from Nicaragua, whose crossing was one of the largest along the West Texas border in recent years. Their massive arrival in the United States surprised even the inhabitants of El Paso, a city that in recent months has been overwhelmed by the constant flow of migrants from Central and South America, more than 50,000 people in October alone. Like the migrants from Venezuela who flooded El Paso this year, those arriving from Nicaragua cannot be quickly removed under a pandemic-era public health policy known as Title 42, which federal authorities enforce on migrants from other countries such as Mexico. Thus, the scenes that unfolded in El Paso offered a preview of the challenges that could be soon faced by border agents along the entire southern border once the policy comes to an end, as it's expected to in the absence of judicial intervention next week.